I'm Barry Chandler, co-founder and principal at StoryForge. In today's video, we're going to talk about why CVS stopped selling cigarettes and why that matters for your business. So in 2014, CVS Caremark, as it was known then, changed its name to CVS Health. And one of the first things they did in conjunction with this name change was they took cigarettes out of all 7,700 CVS pharmacies all around the country. They even did this a month ahead of their own schedule. In doing so, they took away $2 billion of revenue from the top line of CVS. And Wall Street responded, nah, not very, not very well at the time. They wanted to know what is the CEO doing taking away top line revenue like that. But there was a deeper strategy as to why CVS stopped selling cigarettes. So when the CEO, uh, Larry Merlot, was hired, one of the first things he did was to try and figure out why does CVS exist? What is the purpose of the organization? What are we really in the business of? And so he assembled a team of his executives and they undertook this project. They undertook this initiative to, de to really articulate the purpose of CVS. And what they, f what they found at the end of their, their work was a articulation of what they stood for, what they believed, what they believed their stakeholders wanted and needed, the gap they saw in the world, the problem that needed to be, f needed to be fulfilled. But they also saw this long-term view, this long-term strategy for the organization. They were taking this longer-term view than just quarter-to-quarter -quarter earnings in, in coming up with this purpose statement because they knew it would be the purpose for the next 10, 20 years of the organization. So back in 2014, I have it here on my screen, if I can pull it up, uh, when they changed their name, CVS put a big announcement on the front of their website and it said, we're now called CVS Health. Our name has changed, but our purpose remains the same, helping people on their path to better health. So the CEO and the entire organization, organization started to use this purpose as a guidepost and as a filter for thinking. So one of the first things they recognized was that the fact that they sold cigarettes was a direct contradiction to helping people on the path to health. After all, can we really be killing them with cancer on one hand and then inviting them into a clinic on the other? And so the CEO and the leadership team saw it as an increasing contradiction and one that they couldn't ignore. Now they still sell candy and they sell other things, but cigarettes to them was uh, the biggest contradiction. So what they did was they took cigarettes out of all the stores because they said, we are now a health company, we're not just a pharmacy, we're gonna help you get healthier. So taking the, the cigarettes away was the first step. They knew it was gonna to affect top line revenue, they knew it might affect the share price, and they knew it might affect short term goals for the organization. But that's not what they were there for. They were there to deliver long term uh, returns for their shareholders, shareholders, meet the needs of their stakeholders so that they can be profitable in a sustainable way. And they were banking on the fact that people need health care and will align themselves with an organization that helps them become healthier far longer and in a far more meaningful way than those that simply sells them cigarettes in a transaction. So taking cigarettes away was not the only thing they did. Over the past couple of years, they've done a couple of other big initiatives. Number one is they've reduced access to opioids in a meaningful way. And they've also introduced more walk-in clinics to their stores than they ever had before because they believe they are a health company. So I saw the CEO being interviewed recently on television and he was asked, what's next for CVS? He said, well, we'll we will uh, be doing a lot more in the stores. And he said, he said, but every single thing we do will be so that our customers can be healthier, fitter, live better lives. Their purpose is the guidepost for everything. And why that's important to you, why removing cigarettes from a store is important to your business is that if CVS, a $170 billion company, can put a stake in the ground and say, we stand for this, therefore we will decide to remove everything that no longer aligns with this, what's preventing you as a business owner from doing exactly the same? articulate a meaningful purpose for your organization, one that meets the needs of all of your stakeholders, including your shareholders, but first meets the needs of your stakeholders, and then remove aspects of your business that no longer align. You'll find the focus, the innovation that comes out of that will be liberating, will be freeing, will be, will be enormously powerful for your organization, because now you can focus on just fulfilling that purpose, not just chasing the bottom line. Purpose before profit. It doesn't work the other way.